BackgammonGalaxy.com presents Beginner's Mistakes in Backgammon, an exclusive tutorial. Lesson number two, don't run if you're behind in the race. To figure out who is leading the race, you must look at the pip count. The player with the lowest pip count is ahead in the race. In fact, the race dictates the most fundamental rule of thumb in backgammon strategy. If you're ahead in the race, you want to avoid getting hit and bring your checkers home. If you're behind in the race, you want to try and hit a checker since the pure race will leave you in a losing position. When you're behind in the race, you have to try and hit your opponent to improve your winning chances. Running away will decrease contact with your opponent's checkers, thereby making it very difficult for you to hit him. So stay behind and wait. Let's take a look at how to play this 6-5. Your opponent has escaped his backmost checkers while you're still trapped with the one checker on the 24 point. If you run with this checker by playing 24 to 13, you'll be in a straight race with 15 pips down. That's a losing proposition. The right idea is to stay back with this checker and wait for an opportunity to hit. Meanwhile, you should focus on building your prime, so you'll have a strong front position to win the game in case you get lucky and hit your opponent. Here's another example. After moving, you'll be leading the race by 15 pips. That's why you should use this great roll to escape your backmost checker. Since you're ahead in the race, you want to avoid getting trapped behind your opponent's prime. Playing 24 to 13 makes for a racing game, which is exactly what you want when you're leading 15 pips. BackgammonGalaxy.com Play Among the Stars Available on browser, tablet, and smartphone. Subscribe to see more Backgammon videos. Tell us which Backgammon videos you want to see.